Hey, gals and guys, it's Christian Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and I tried to do this on my laptop, and the laptop is slow as shit, so I came over to my desktop to do this. Uh, I had a little thumper. Let's see if I can get it in here. Uh, so I broke my uh, leg in two places, so I'm supposed to have it elevated. Uh, I'm not supposed to actually be sitting here, so I'll just make this short and sweet. Uh, what I normally do and what I'm doing now is uh, analytics. I do it uh, the first of the year. Uh, six months in, and then um, each anniversary. So this is the second anniversary of MyMediaHelper.com as far as YouTube is concerned. Yay! And I thank everybody who's subscribed and, and been watching right along. Uh, I probably do things very incorrectly. So just to um, tell you what I, I mean, I don't really have a niche. Um, if you're going to do a YouTube channel, you probably know, or perhaps you don't know, um, you should do it in some type of niche form, meaning you have a built-in set-in audience already that's interested in said niche, and you should make videos about that niche. So, for instance, um, I watch crime videos, um, I watch um, uh, movie uh, review videos, and the channel's just this, this channel is just movie reviews. This channel is just crime stories and so on and so forth because that's what your audience audience expects right you're trying to feed a need that's or serve a need or however you want to put it um if you want to grow an audience that is uh i mean in anything right in any product or um, entertainment or um, just tutorials that that you want to do especially if you want to monetize on youtube so that's some advice for you uh i do this very incorrectly um, I put anything up there that I want. I put uh, tutorials. I'll put some comedy once in a while when I get a good idea. Um, I'll do a little, I don't know if you want to call them documentaries or opinion pieces, maybe. Uh, I do movie reviews. I do everything and throw them up on my channel. Um, so I'm doing it all wrong, and I know I am. So why I originally did uh, the analytics videos, and I used to do them like once a week, and then I think I graduated to two a week and this is when i uh when i began my youtube channel and um things weren't really changing after a certain time so that's why i only do these three times a year i don't get a lot of hits on these videos a lot of people don't watch these um so it's really the reason i started doing them is to show people that okay if you want to begin a youtube channel this is this is what happened this was this was my journey through youtube your journey could be very different. You could put up a video next week and have a million followers. Uh, I just don't, my videos just aren't, aren't that way. So, um, probably because I'm all over the place. So, but this year I have been doing better production values, taking a lot more time to edit, doing a lot more, uh, narrations and things of that nature. So here is 28 days out. All right. And this is just the general, um, uh, uh, videos that people are watching just they're mostly tutorials they're mostly hardware videos actually just reviewing products and not even particularly reviewing them just going over them showing what they look like and everything in some cases reviewing and the top one is a is a um sharepoint tutorial so i want to get into the meat here and i want to really show you um how it's advanced so i'm going to go to compare and we're going to go here to year to year all right, and I'm going to put 2021. All right, so this is where I started from. I actually started in 2020, but this is all last year. And let me put in 2022. So you, as you can see, significant growth, and that's and that's what I that's what I like to see there. Uh, not so much in the beginning of the year, but certainly when we get to I don't know what's 120 or 110 days in. Oh, I'd say almost the summer, uh, maybe a little of the fall. Uh, see how much it's going, going up there. So that's that's great. That's that's good for me. I'd like to see progress. Um, I'd certainly like to see more progress on the channel as far as uh, people who subscribe. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I'm in the hundreds. People have thousands and tens of thousands and millions of subscribers uh, on their channels because uh, they put the work in, uh, into it. Um, I'd like to think I put a lot of work. I put a lot of hours into my videos. And um, 
I don't know. I'm just going to keep making them and posting them, and we'll see uh, what happens. I like and it. once I get there, I'll show you all the monetization things, how, how it monetized, how much I'm making, all that good stuff. Because that was my original intention when I started this. I was really going to get into affiliate marketing, which I started to get into, and I did sell some stuff. Um, but I just had my interest change, and my interest change all the time. So uh, that's really the the skinny of what I want to show you. I want to show you the uh, the process or the evolution of how your YouTube channel can go as long as you're making um, videos, get them out there, um, do the best you can on them, obviously. Uh, we all have different skill levels and just get them out there and, um, you know, take some time, take some time to let it grow. Uh, not everyone's going to be a success story uh, overnight, right? So don't don't think you are, but it's great if you are. So if you get my meaning, I'm just curious what the last seven days was actually. And we'll get into something else. Okay, so Halloween's coming. So one of the Halloween ones are, doesn't look like any, anyone's watching a lot of them. These are really interesting, actually. These are all old public domain uh, horror movies. Okay, so a lot of tutorials and stuff like that. Okay, so we'll go over to, to uh, Google Analytics. I don't spend a lot of time on my website. Um, there's hardly any traffic there, as you can see. I get hits once in a great while. Uh, my focus isn't on the website anymore. I used to do uh, Vimeo and and um, other video. Uh, ooh, sorry, foot's hurting. Other video um, services, and I just stick to YouTube, and that's really right now all I'm focused on. Uh, interesting enough, this happened to me the other day, two days ago. So I got the new. I got a new phone because when I was in the hospital uh, in the middle of the night, I had an ice pack on my leg and I decided to take it off and I put it on. There's a tray next to you, you know, the rolly trays, if you've ever been in the hospital or in a hospital. Um, so I put the, the um, ice pack on the tray. My phone was all the way down the end of that tray. So when I woke up in the morning, there was a puddle all the way down to my phone. <laughs> it's not really funny. Um, I pissed myself off because I'm an idiot. Uh, I never thought about it in the middle of the night and I didn't think that ice pack was going to, leak because it was all in plastic and everything. Um, so that uh, killed my phone. So I put a SIM card in a new phone and I was trying to get into YouTube and I was trying to use my laptop to get into YouTube and my phone, which is sitting over on the bed. And in the process, it was asking for a photo ID to identify me, make sure I am who I am. Okay. I sent my license in. And then all of a sudden this happened and I have no clue why I've emailed them a couple times. They've responded once. Um, your account has been dis disabled October 7th. So I can't show any analytics off this, which is the point I'm trying to get to. I don't understand why it's disabled. I didn't post anything. Um, it's actually was brought down the fifth. This is a fallacy. It wasn't brought down today. Um, I didn't post anything that day. I haven't really posted anything for a month since I've been in the hospital. Um, so I'm very confused to why they did this to me. I've got a lot of stuff on there. Uh, my business is, is through my profile. Um, I've been talking to people, um, date wise on there. Um, so I don't understand why, why they did that at all. So I did send a message out to them. They did respond. They were supposed to get, they'll have to wait until they get the report back. I don't know what the fuck report they're talking about. I don't know. I have no choice. Facebook is humongous entity. They can do whatever the hell they want to do. It's their service. It's not mine. Um, they provide it. They don't have to provide it to me if they don't want to. Very upset about it, really. It, it, it bugs me and it bothers me. But um, if this never comes back up, I'll never make another Facebook page. Not because I'd be all sour about it. I just, it's too much work. And maybe it, it was a, a gift to the fact that my Facebook went down. I don't have to, um, I don't have to play with it anymore or not worry about it, but be inclined to go to it and waste time. So right now my focus is on YouTube. And if I can show you something else real quick. So as you can see, I don't have any uh, copyright claims here. I have one here that I fought and still fighting uh, for the movie, The Avenged. Um, as you see, 423 to 540 is the clip that I used. Uh, my audio is over it. And they have 10 days to take me to court or at least uh, initiate um, court papers. 
uh, towards me in order to get um, uh, this video off. If they do not respond in 10 days, then this comes back up and, um, and my video will be fine. Why them out of all these films? There's five films, each video, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, oops, sorry, I counted wrong. Uh, here you go. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so out of 30, 34 movies, because there's, there's four on this one. Uh, out of 35 movies, 34 of them said, yeah, review my movie. You can use the footage. And one f took it took it to the extreme. I've, I've done appeals and everything. So I'm going to keep fighting that one uh, until they give up. If they want to take me to court. I, I do believe it's under fair use. I'm not hurting their intellectual property. It's actually a good review for the movie. I actually really like the movie. Um, I just used their footage and my um, my audio over it, my my commentary over it. So um, I don't know. We'll see what happens on that. So that's about it, gals and guys. Um, two year anniversary. Oh, broken foot. I got to get back to bed and elevate that sucker because it's burning. It's six to eight weeks uh, without walking on it. Uh, I'll try to do more videos. Uh, I tried to do it on my laptop. It's just so damn slow. But anyways, gals and guys, if you happen to be watching this and you got all this way, I appreciate you as always. Uh, please subscribe if you're so inclined. Uh, please share it with us for anyone that's uh, thinking of starting a YouTube channel and kind of want to see uh, where it could possibly uh, bridge to, where it would where it would go to. Um, and yours might go be way, way, way more popular than mine, which isn't too hard. Um, I don't, I have like a hundred and, 67 subscribers or something that's not a lot in two years um, although this year i've gotten a lot more than the previous year and you know i'm just thinking okay and as as i get more um imaging and as as youtube puts more of my videos up front uh, i'll get more subscribers i don't know so i will see you in the beginning of 2023 as far as analytics are concerned and i'll see everyone everywhere else uh with all my other videos and uh what did i say share oh yeah like like this video like it if you liked it like it if you hated it and uh, hit the bell for updates and i gotta get back to bed so i appreciate you as always folks and uh i'll catch you later bye bye